intelligence right we talked about intelligence question right so what is intelligence intelligence is any capa- global capacity of a person right in which he is able to act purposefully he is able to think rationally and he is able to deal with the environment effectively right dealing with the environment means in any of the situation he is able to deal that it situation effectively right and not in a maladaptive manner right but intellectually so this is this definition was given by westler right and this is the definition of intelligence uh, most of the books and other people take care of so typically coming to vsms the age range right for which the test was meant earlier was 0 to 50 why 0 1 month child 2 month child 3 month child so 1 month 0 to 1 month child till 15 year old child right this test is but this test was meant for those children right but this test can also be used this test can also be used for elderly who are not able to perform any other test due to poor memory and other reasons for mentally retarded or intellectually disabled people adults by people have by a mean or individuals have by a mean they could be children also they could be adults also right yes uh, you had said something about a man being 80 years old hmm and we would uh, still uh, consider his age brain development uh, stopped at 15 hmm so wouldn't it be difficult to calculate uh, his uh, social uh, intelligence it won't be difficult because of the reason i just told you know if the brain is not developing then age is just a number then above 15 years right first thing <coughs> second thing is always in all these we do not administer such kind of test alone they will always in all these Uh, they these tests will always then always be administered along with some other test okay this would right. be this would be a supplementary test yes you can call this but till 15 years of age this could be used as a primary test okay so a black board and light brown colored blocks put in the blocks in the respective margins right shape margins right okay write on two questions write on two questions for your assignment question the star is placed while administering sfbt sanguine form both test in which direction the star is placed by administering sfbt star is placed means he जो डायरेक्शन होगा बोर्ड का वो किस तरफ होगा टुवर्ड्स द एग्जामिनर और टुवर्ड्स द पेशेंट राइट सेकंड क्वेश्चन एज द ब्लॉक्स आर अरेंज्ड इनटू हीप्स हीप्स का मतलब क्या होता है पाइल्स हीप्स एंड पाइल्स का मतलब क्या हुआ कोसाली मिस्टर अनु Mr. Anu Kosali and whosoever is not from the psychology background, please see here. Heaps का मतलब है there is a block, there is another block, there is another block. इसको हम heaps कहते हैं, ठीक है? In total there are ten blocks. The ten blocks will be divided into three heaps, three heaps, three, four, three. एक में तीन आएंगे. Shapes, एक में चार एक में तीन दिस इज हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू डिवाइड टेन इन थ्री हिप्स थ्री फोर थ्री राइट सो वॉट विल बी द पोजिशन ऑफ शेप्स इन टू दीज थ्री हिप्स पहले क्या आएगा फिर क्या आएगा फिर क्या आएगा फिर सेकेंड वाली में क्या आएगा फिर क्या आएगा फिर क्या आएगा देर इज अ डेफिनेट पोजिशन एंड यू कैन नॉट चेंज दिस पोजिशन सो वॉट विल बी द पोजिशन ऑफ शेप्स इन टू दीज थ्री हिप्स यू कैन राइट दिस Answer as one two along with the questions. Answers below the questions. Take a picture and post it into the group. Okay. Done.
No. See this board wala figure. Board wala figure. This marked with linings, no? This is for your understanding that how does it look like? Black and this color. It look like this, but do not count this picture. Do not count this. Okay, see this picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten blocks are there. Right? What are they? Cross, triangle, semicircle, oval. This is oval. And there is square. Then there is hexagon. There is a kite or a rhombus. Star, circle, and triangle. Right? So I'm clear. Okay. Now what you have to do is you will place the heaps into three. Okay. Heaps into three piles. Oh, uh, sorry. Shapes into three piles. I will not tell you that in front of the patient or in front of the examiner because this is your assignment. I will surely discuss it in the next class in the initial five minutes, right? So you have to place the he uh, place the shapes into heaps, right? Then you have to ask the child or the patient to arrange the heaps into the respective blocks, right? As as quick as they can. There is no time limit, but as quick as they can. So, jaldi 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 usse karana hai. You have to take three trials. Three trials. You can write it down. No fixed time, but as quick as the patient can, and with three trials. So, ek bari laga diya. We'll ask the person to do it again. Again, he'll do it. Again, again, he'll do it. Now, ab kaise pata lagega kitna jaldi kar raha hai? You will be holding a stopwatch with you. You will be having a stopwatch with you. जब वो करना start करेगा, stopwatch चालू करना, एक round खत्म करती, stop the stopwatch. ठीक है? You will calculate the time and how many seconds or in how many minutes did he do? Did he finish the test? Right? Then, in three trials, you will get the longest time taking trial. सबसे ज़्यादा time उसको किस trial में लगा? Obviously, you will calculate. है ना? And also, you will get the shortest time in which he finished. So, among the three trials, you may get the longest time taking trial and the shortest time taking trial.